all right y'all i am back with another video it is december it is like 10 days nine days away from christmas and i wanted to do another video before i release my very christmasy video um so i am doing more fashion sketches but i am doing them of some very beautiful muslim women um that I was inspired by as I was um, on Pinterest and just looking at the different um, Muslim fashion and um, it also is known as a modest style and I just love how these women um, can stick to um, they're sticking to their culture sticking to what um, they have taken on the the whole meaning of a hijab and the reason why you wear them in their countries and they have taken ownership of it as women and i love that and i love the way um that they they dress and show their love for fashion even with you know their way of dressing and their way of style I just love it and so I was like let's let me do this video that is dedicated to them and just how powerful their um, their fashion style is while wearing um, their hijabs I think it is just amazing so I was pretty excited uh, when I finished sketching everything and inking everything in because it looked so beautiful and this was also a challenge for me um, because it's drawing something out of the norm um, and I want more people to be able to see my sketches and to be able to relate um, and please guys I am not that knowledge I do not have that much knowledge of the Muslim women and the other women that do wear the hijabs I'm praying that I am saying it correctly I do not mean to offend I am and always meaning to praise you women I love I just love it it I mean you guys are beautiful for anyone that may be watching um, you're beautiful and I love the way that you guys are showing your fast your fashion sense um, through your clothing and through you know your head scarves I just love it like I'm for it sis yes so I was asked by a subscriber um, to actually break down um, you know how I use my markers how, how I pick them um, through my drawing process and so I wanted to break this down um, and guys by no means am I even that professional with this like I am still learning okay and still collecting my markers um, and in this video you'll see me go between all of the markers that i have between the calliope markers the copics the hoo hoo markers like I, I didn't care um what i was using because i love to use all of my markers at once because there is always one better marker than you know out of all of my collections like it's ones i like to use out of this collection more than the other collection like so basically um with every um color um, that I'm choosing for um, like you know for example like right now for the denim skirt that she has on I try to find at least three colors or two um, that I can use one that's lighter and one that's darker one that I can use for my base color and then one that I can sort of use for my um, like my shadows and darker um, just to get my darker shading going on so um, right here I think I yeah I only use two markers and that's because with the alcohol markers you can take you can put down one foundation and then you can go back over with that same marker and create a little bit of shading and darker um darker lines and i'm hope i'm saying this right but darker shading with that same marker so um i think that with any color that you're using having a having one color and then a darker version and a lighter version which i think that when you buy um copics they tell you that all the time to buy to buy them in threes excuse me guys but to buy them in threes you get one that's lighter you get the one that's a middle and then you get one that's the darker so that you have those three colors or two colors that you can um blend together to create shading now i will let you guys know there is one marker that i use for shading that i love um that's in my copic collection it is bv23 listen i 
stand by that color okay because it i just love it i use it for shading even when i'm using the hoo hoo markers when i'm using any markers i always use that one and especially because out of the hoo hoo brush markers they technically don't have a color that you can really use to make that shadow um i almost feel like the purples are not like dark enough for me i could say because they sort of blend in once i'm finished like it just doesn't look as good as I feel like it used to when I first started using them. But um, yeah, that's what I do. Um, make sure you have like, and that BV23 is like a, it's like a grayish purple. And it's more gray than purple, if you get my meaning. But yeah, so that's why I use it for that. But basically, with any markers, no, no matter whether it's Copics, Cali Arts, um, pro markers you know any markers that you're using you want to have a lighter and a darker so that you can create that blend to go from light to dark so that you know you basically don't want your picture to be flat you sort of want it you know you want to add a little bit of dimension to it and actually right here on her sweater i was trying to make sure that i used colors that were sort of all i guess you could say that would sort of all be out of the same color scheme if you get my drift um but as i was th going into my shadows and everything i sort of wish that i didn't use like certain colors because i wanted it to look like shadows and i felt like her sweater was starting to look like a little dingy and then I you know I had her looking like I didn't want her to start looking grandma's or anything like that so that is one thing that I did not like about how I did her um her cardigan that she has on but um yeah I just didn't like that so you do have to watch with your shadow like with with your shading when you're doing your shadows and stuff because I don't think I have that many colors in like that many colors of like that blush pink type of color don't really have that many markers out of any of my collections that I could really work with so yeah I sort of didn't like how that came out but everything else um I did love I think if I redrew her I probably I probably no definitely would have went with a different color scheme for the shirt the um, the hijab and the um the cardigan but she was still cute i tried to you know just make sure she still looked like very on trend and um and stuff um that's why i gave her a burgundy lip but okay y'all i feel like i am just like rambling on um trying to explain this but yes yeah, like that i hope that i answered your question um about you know how to sort of use the markers but um because that's how I use them and I'm still learning like I definitely would tell you to look at um drawing with waffles um and Natalie her name is Natalie I'm gonna just put her name in here because I cannot remember it I don't know how to say it completely but I watch them religiously and they are so good with um skin tones and shading and different things because I like just from watching them and you know applying it to my own art it has really I, I have seen myself improve so much um and if anybody has been following me since I started I feel like you guys should be able to see the improvement too I hope you guys do if you do let me know in the comments but um those are two that I definitely watch you know just to um watch like as if I'm taking classes you know what I'm saying like okay let me tune in today you know let me get me a little piece so that I can you know learn something new to apply to my own art but yeah those are two that I would tell you um to really watch because they're who I watch to just learn more because I'm definitely still learning um with my skin tones and with my shading and different you know just better ways so definitely go to them because I am so you know just still learning and so new I would say not new new but new <laughs> <laughs> all right so with homegirl on the left i wanted to do um just basically like the opposite of my girl on the right because she's more of like a more dressier still casual still casual but a more dressy style and so i really wanted to show how they do 
um, like a sporty style. I mean, I feel like their street, their street style is so bomb. Like, oh my gosh, the photos just go on Pinterest y'all and just look up, um, you know, hijab street style fashion, like just put it all in. Like, listen, these, they be slaying, they be slaying. Okay. And what I love about it is that they are completely covered and they are, they look so dope. They're not having to show their breasts and their butt. And, you know, they're ha having, having to show so much skin to feel like they're fashionable or to feel like they look good um, or they're dressed well. Like, I decided to go with a Fila sweatshirt um, because I actually seen one on Pinterest, on Pinterest and I just had to do a redo. Um, and I wanted to go with soft colors um, because it, um, I wanted to do like, you know, soft colors with a sporty style. So, um, that's why I chose like this pale, this pale gray and, um, and like pastel pink color. Her outfit definitely goes back to, um, well, the way that I shaded her outfit go definitely goes back to what I was saying earlier in this video about, um, using and reusing the same marker to create shading and to create different blends and using like a, just a, you know, just one darker marker. I used that, com I did that whole method completely on her, um, her hijab, her, her sweatshirt, um, and, um, not on the leggings on the leggings i did them you know just using black and i just left white highlights in it because i wanted them to sort of look like um sort of like the faux leather leggings that's what i was going for with that but through the videos that i've watched myself i've learned how to make add shadowing to black please excuse all of the little kids that you hear in the background those are mine and they are on like 11 today we're between 11 and 11 and a half almost 12. nevertheless guys give me comments let me know how you guys felt about this video um and let me got let me know if you guys enjoyed it leave me good comments you leave me good comments constructive comments any comments you know i love to hear from you i welcome all of my new um subscribers welcome to the youtube family and I'm just gonna let this jam continue to play until the end of this video. you guys have enjoyed this video and i hope that for every woman that um can relate to this video um i just want you guys to know you guys are beautiful you guys are powerful and just listen just slay honey just slay sis i'm with you girl like yes <laughs> i will see you guys in the next video